Right now, please put your hands together for Dr. Laird Whitehill, everybody. Give it up. Ask him your stupidest astronomy questions. Yes. I am Dr. Laird Whitehill. I do a bit that is called Ask Dr. Laird Your Stupid Astronomy Questions. Because I am an astronomer and I am fully qualified to answer both stupid and non stupid astronomy questions. But the fact is that I do not have any prepared material whatsoever. So that if you want, you can sit in the audience and do nothing, and I will stand here for seven minutes, even eight, because I bought three drinks, and, and, and I'll just stand here. Or you can ask me questions, and I will do my best to answer them. So it's up to you. So I see no hands because I can't see a thing. So you have to shout it out. Oops. Shout it out. I'm waiting. Uh, has anybody ever called you a motherfucking star boy? No, thank you very much for that question. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I'm going I'm to just close my eyes here. I'm just going to rest. On, you know, I've got, I've got seven minutes of rest coming to me. What, so. uh, they say the universe uh, smells like a scent called cosmic raspberry. What causes that? No, the actually the universe, the, the moon smells like uh, burnt charcoal. I didn't say the moon. Oh, oh. I said the universe. Well, how does the universe smell at all? Uh, I, I haven't heard ask that. Ask your colleagues, I guess. No, I haven't heard you. <laughs> See, the, the problem with your question. I can, let me look it no, up. No, look it up. Find let me find the answer for you. Let me do The it. problem is, <laughs> the, look it up. But the problem with the question is, in order to smell something, you have to have molecules. And in order to have molecules, you have to have an atmosphere. And in order to have an atmosphere, you have to be planted on a planet. Mm -hmm. And you can't be planted on a planet and call yourself part of the universe. You're just a teeny part of the universe. Yeah. So the universe has different oh, smells yeah. everywhere. So I don't um, buy it. I found the answer. Good. Um, they say that uh, space smells like uh, raspberries. And what causes it is a dust cloud contains ethyl forming. Um, an organic monocle that okay. smells like booze and uh, okay. really tastes the, like the man is correct. The problem is if you, do, if you take a whiff of the universe at the level that the universe is at, you will explode because you're in a fucking vacuum. Okay, so, so you, yes, but the universe is composed of aromatic hydrocarbons that might, if you will, smell like whatever you said. Okay, so it's partially correct, but widely incorrect. Okay, <laughs> next. When can we live on the moon? When can we live live or just reproduce? Live. Live. So you would go there, but you would would you have a baby on the moon? I'm gay. You, that doesn't mean you no, I'm sorry, that's that, that's a non sequitur. You can still have a baby on the moon. No. No? Why would you have a baby on the moon? Because I'm not attracted to aliens. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Why no, you inseminate on Earth, then you go to the moon, you, you germinate for, uh, or whatever you call pregnancy on the moon, and, and then you uh, give birth, right? And then you raise your child on the moon. Would you do that? Sure. Sure? She's sure. I don't, I'm not so sure that's a good idea. So it depends upon whether or not it's a good idea or not. How much would you get paid to do that? What? What's like the, how much would you get paid to do that? How right. much would I? Yeah, yeah. Like what's it would be happy. Right. It, would, be, it yeah. would have to be someone who really didn't care what the their child would turn out no, no, to be. No. I'm saying like, how oh, much my. money would I get if I did that? Right. How much money do you sometimes. want to do that? I, a million dollars. I, um, I'm gonna go in the, in the billions. Okay. <laughs> well, Elon okay. Musk might do that for you. So yeah. I, I'm having a baby on the fucking moon. Yeah. <laughs> Right. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like. But in order to live on the moon, you have to be able to be at birth. Twenty. If I don't have to pay rent. No. Is there rent on the moon? Not yet. There's no no housing, so you can't have rent on the moon. And somebody's raising their hand back there. Don't raise your hand. How fast is the speed of light? Why would you want to know that? Does it come up often in conversation? How fast is the speed of light? Why uh, do you need to know that? Because you said it asked dumb astronomy First, Oh, oh well, that's, a, that's not dumb. It's just un uninformative. Speed of light is three times 10 to the eighth kilometers per second. Does that help? Nice. It does. 
Yeah. And that's to a couple of desk places. You have another hand raised in the back and again, shot it out. If you had a baby on the moon, because of the difference in gravity, right. what shape would their skull fuse into? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so, so, it's a, so what shape would the skull? skull Okay, there's only one way to tell. There's two ways to tell. You can you can spend time in a centrifuge uh, uh, for the next nine months to see how that works on the Earth, or you can go to the moon and test it out. Since they've never done that, because gravity is one of these things you can't fuck with. You, you have to go to the moon to get it. So nobody knows. Nobody knows. Is there a spot with anti-gravity on Earth? There's no anti-gravity is a fiction of science fiction. It doesn't exist. If it did, we could make wormholes and then travel to other parts of the universe. But since anti-gravity doesn't exist, uh, we don't have any, we can't do that. So no. We're not working on it because it's fiction. Uh, <laughs> a lot of things that didn't exist started as ideas. Exactly. Any work. Okay, but I happen to be a scientist. It doesn't work. I really am a scientist. It doesn't work. There's no such thing as anti-gravity. They looked. It can never, well, well never is never, well, not ever, but well, that's what, not. That's the point. What about the Hoover Dam? The Hoover Dam is good. <laughs> is the Hoover Dam is awesome. <laughs> what are you saying? The Hoover Dam is like anti-gravity? No, the Hoover no. Dam is no. Right? Isn't that it? No, 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 look it up. I'm going to say yes. Oh. That's the first thing I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw I thought I saw a video. No. You just heard you should go that it's like not never, which means that it's No, no, but, but in, 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 in forever, Given, see, here's the thing. Can you just let us know what We need to be fine. No, but the thing is, in, time could be infinite, and in infinite amount of time, anything could happen. A rabbit could pop out of my mouth. Okay? And, you know, it's not probable, but it's possible. So then why are we working on it? We're not working on that. But, like, why? Why are we possible. not working on it? Because it's improbable, and there's no there's no. I'm sure there's something working on it. Do, uh, do psychedelics feel better in space? Would, that's a that's a stupid astronomy question. Actually, that, no. The, would psychedelics feel better in space? That's not a stupid astronomy question. That's an asinine astronomy question. Why? It's biochemistry. No, wait. Why? Why is that stupid? Uh, no, it's not stupid. It's asinine. Why is it asinine? Because it has no relevance to stupid questions. No, 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 stupid no, 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 questions. No, no, no. Stupid questions are uninformed. No, 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 no. Okay. If we are going to have to live outside of this planet. And live on other planets, and we know as human beings, we like to do the drugs. Yeah. We need to do some yes. research on what drugs I, are. I totally not agree that we need to. Outside of this planet. I so think that is a fantastic question. No, I, 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 yeah. Yeah. I think it's, on, it's, on. it's worthy of research. I'm straight here. I'll have the baby. Yeah. It's real, it, it, all these questions are worthy yeah, of research. But. <laughs> It's sort of low priority. Psychedelics on the moon is kind of like low on the end. Well, first you have to build habitat and all that sort of stuff. So first you have to figure that out. And then if you want to experiment with drugs, you can do that on your own. But in order to have the babies, we're going to need the drugs. Yeah, so sure. we, need, we need the things. We need the answers. No, no, all this stuff is worth Am I, am I arguing with the audience? county funding or something. Then where are the drugs then, doctor? Why aren't we on them right now? Anytime Dr. Laird gets up here, I always do feel like it is just a crowd of English majors being like, fuck you, science man. I'm in a lot of debt right now. I'm dumber, I minored in creative writing, which is like, what was the point of that? Or that just, uh, didn't even commit to not having any money. I uh, Keep it going for Dr. Laird, everybody. Woo!